Hey guys, welcome to a new Marqueco Monday. We have a pretty exciting topic today. Today we'll be discussing Facebook core audiences and more specifically, how do you use interest in order to build and find new customers? Uh, Facebook sometimes says it's saved or core audiences, right? And, and what's the right way to use interest in order for you to build Audiences actually work because what we've seen a lot is mistakes where your audience is too broad. It doesn't work. You're spending too much money. Um, so what I'm going to try to focus today is just give you some quick tips on things that you can do in order to build an audience that's specific, that gives you better results. That's really your niche market so that you spend less money and just optimize your campaigns better. And so when you're thinking about building audiences, with interest or, or, or with core and saved audiences, there's really three big areas that you wanna focus on. Location, age and gender, and interest. So we're not gonna cover location, age, age and gender, and there's some strategies you can build, and we could do that for another Marqueco Monday, but today we're gonna to talk specifically on how to use interest and how do you build uh, what I call buckets, right? So you wanna build buckets of interest that you can start building so that when you're using those interests, what you end up with is a really specific uh, customer base or user base from Facebook to really find your niche market, right? So that you can optimize your results. And what this is gonna allow you is just spend less money, be more efficient with your money, and really find that core audience that you wanna target your ads at first before you scale them, um, before you start investing more money. So we're gonna be talking about how do you use those Venn diagrams? How do you use buckets in order to build better audiences, right? And so if you look, and I've already said this, but there's really uh, three big areas that you wanna focus on, location, age, and gender. And we're not gonna talk about that. What we're gonna be talking today, it's really the detailed targeting. What do you do in order to include interest and what, what strategies do you use? And there's a big thing here that people don't realize, but what you really want to use is these two options right here. And what's the big difference is that when you talk about narrow, what you're doing is and, and when you're excluding people is saying, take people out, right? So I don't want those people, people who have those interests, I don't want them there. Um, and what you want to do is use this narrow audience. And that's the key in using interest because what that's going to do is allow you to differentiate your buckets. And we're going to talk about a couple of things and I'm going to show you an example um, of how we do it. Because if you look at this odd potential audience, you have close to 27 million people. Uh, there's location, age, and also a couple of interests that I'm going to show you later. But then you also have the same audience with the same interest, same location, same, same age. But here I have 15,000 people. So what is the big difference between those two audiences? And so I'm going to give you an example. And let's say we're looking for people, we're selling a product where we're looking for people who are spending money on ads, right? They they're, have a fan page, have an ad account because we wanna sell a product to them. So we're, we think about three things. Number one, we want to, to be fan page admins, right? Because if someone's a fan page administrator, most likely they have an ad account and most likely they're spending money, spending money on Facebook, right? So number one, we want that. Number two, we say, well, why don't we find leaders within the industry who are also teaching people how to use Facebook. Because if they're following those leaders, most likely they might be interested in our products as well. And number three, we're gonna say, well, let's find also a blog where people interact with social media content because if they're reading that blog, most likely, well, they're gonna be interested in our products as well. And so what we end up with is, if you look at this, we have basically three different buckets. We have bucket one, which is our Facebook uh, fan page administrators. We have bucket two, which is our leaders. And bucket three, 
is our block. And so what most people, and this is the big, big, big mistake people do when segmenting audiences, right? And what they'll end up doing is you have your three audiences, right? You have your three interests, sorry. So you have number one, number two, and number three. But what they'll do is, instead of narrowing audiences, one, what they'll end up doing is doing this, right? You're putting everyone in the same bucket. You're putting everyone within the same box. And what this does is that what you're saying and what you're telling Facebook is find me people who are fan page administrators, right? Who are also interested in those leaders, who are also interested in that blog, and combine, so everyone. So what this is doing is that instead of saying or, what you're saying is instead of saying and, or like find me people who are interested in this and this and this, what you're telling people, what you're telling Facebook is, what you're saying is or. So find me people who are interested, interested in interest one or two or three. And what this does is that you end up with an audience that is too big that is not specific, right? And where you end up spending a lot of money. Why? Because if you look at this, I have fan page administrators, right? This is number one. I have John Loomer and Mayor Smith. This is number two. And social media examiner is number three. And what I end up with is 27 million people. And this is the big mistake people make because this is just too broad. You need too much money for this. It's not specific um, and you're not going to have success with your ads. So what you want to do is this, right? I want an audience that is narrow, that is more specific so that I can spend less and get better results, right? Because what, what this is going to allow me is if I have a small budget or if I'm starting to run ads and I don't know if the audience is going to work, what I want is an audience that is smaller so that I can optimize my money, right? So how do you do this? How do you go from 27 million to 15 million? And this is where we're going to do things a bit different, right? So again, we're going to have three buckets. We're going to have fan page admins. We're going to have leaders. We're going to use John Loomer and Mary Smith. And we're going to use a blog, which is social media examiner, right? And so what we want to do is we want to do the same thing, right? We have our three circles with our Venn diagram. We have bucket number one, bucket number two, and bucket number three. But what we want is the 17, 15,000 people, right? That have all of those interests. So I don't want people like interest one or two or three, but I want people who comply with all of the interests. So bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three, right? So I'm gonna have bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three. So I want people that comply with bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three. And what's the big difference is that instead of having one bucket like you have up here, right, where I put all of them in one, I split them in three. So I have bucket one, I have bucket two, and I have bucket three. And so what I do is I have fan page administrators, and what I'm telling Facebook here is, but they also have to have my bucket two of interest. So John Loomer and Mary Smith, and they also have to be following and be interested in social media examiner. And what this is doing is that Facebook, then it's going to find me this 15,000 people that is going to allow me to be more specific. It's going to be a narrow audience, right? So it's going to be small, but that means it's also going to be a better niche market. 
because I'm what I'm making sure is that their fan page administrators, they're learning about Facebook or social media and they're reading about it as well. And so what this does is that because you have a better audience with your with your interest, you're going to be able to spend less and just optimize your money more and your budget. So those are the key things that you want to do when you're building audiences within Facebook, right? You don't want to do what most people do in this mistake here where you're having 27 million people. What we want to do is have a smaller audience of 15,000 people so that it's more specific, it's narrower, and I'm going to be able to budget better. Most people are doing what's happening in step one, right? You want to be able to do step two. You want to use and find people within those three audiences that you do. So keep in mind, uh, this works really well when you're starting off with Facebook, when you don't know where to start, you don't know if your audience is going to work either. Um, and you're building slowly and building and working your budget and getting better results. So hopefully this tip really helps you today in using interest better, um, knowing how to use your buckets correctly so that you don't end up with an audience of 27 million people, but with 15,000 people, right? So hopefully you like the, the Marqueco Monday today. Make sure you follow us today. Make sure you go to marqueco.com and follow our, our blog as well. Join our first Facebook group. Um, make sure you vote for next week's Marqueco Monday so that we select a topic, subscribe to a YouTube channel, and we'll see you next Monday. Thanks, guys.